In Georgia, it's the election day face-off between a former president and his vice president, though neither of them are on the ballot. Former Vice President Mike Pence throwing his support behind Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, the very candidate his former boss is trying to unseat. You will send a deafening message all across America that the Republican Party is the party of the future. It is the clearest sign yet that Pence is breaking from former President Trump, who blames Georgia's governor for his 2020 election defeat. Brian Kemp is a turncoat, he's a coward, and he's a complete and total disaster. Instead, Trump has handpicked former Georgia Senator David Perdue to take on Kemp. Monday, the former president had this to say about his one-time VP. Well, I'm very disappointed in Mike, as a lot of people are. Now, with the battle lines drawn, it could be a preview of the 2024 Republican presidential race. If the election were today for president, Trump or Pence, who would you go for? I would have to go for Pence as well. I think character says a lot. In midterms across the country, former President Trump has not shied away from using his influence in the political ring, setting up a major test of his power as kingmaker. The results are a mixed bag. In Georgia, a recent poll shows Purdue trailing by more than 30 points. On the Democratic side, nominee Stacey Abrams drawing Republican criticism over the weekend for these remarks. I'm tired of hearing about being the best state in the country to do business when we are the worst state in the country to live. When you're number 48 for mental health, when you're number one for maternal mortality, when you have an incarceration rate that's on the rise and wages that are on the decline. Purdue criticized those remarks, but then courted controversy of his own with this statement, criticized by many as racist. When she told black farmers, you don't need to be on the farm, and you, she told black workers in hospitality and all this, you don't need to be. She is demeaning her own race when it comes to that. And blame the showdown uh, that we're seeing between Pence and Trump. This comes amid a growing number of Republicans who are actually breaking from the former president. You're right, Hoda. And actually, they're lining up to back his political targets. In fact, the Republican Governors Association spent $5 million here in Georgia to help back Kemp. In fact, we've seen prominent Republicans flocking here to help him. All of them are really pushing back on the big lie, saying that it's time to move on from 2020. Hoda. All right, Blaine Alexander for us. Blaine, thank you. Uh Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.